Can you tell me about the work of a tech evangelist. What's your what are your primary responsibilities or your weekly or daily tasks? The whole idea of about a tech evangelist, and it kind of started in the development world. Uh, you'll see a lot of uh, you'll see it also for any organization such as IBM that uh, offers various types of platforms, whether it be database mm -hmm. platforms or an Oracle, Java platforms, things like that. And uh, I'm a consensus builder. I okay. go out and I work a lot with hiring managers. I work a lot with students, uh, do a lot of teaching and training. And the main thing is you can, you can call it a marketing function. I do a tremendous amount of business development. So the idea is to get the word out. That's where that evangelist comes yes. from. It's not, a, it's not a particularly religious thing, although sometimes, right. uh, it, you know, it's it, it kind of feels that way. Take but kind the of fervor, thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And, and the idea is to get out and talk with people as much as possible. So I like to see myself either as a liaison or a consensus builder between people who are hiring people in the workforce and people who are joining the workforce. Okay. That almost sounds like... Well, maybe not. Is that, it's almost like a lobbyist or something like that. Like you're it's you're trying, to, you're trying to sort of clarify points to people in yeah. like a high pressure situation. So, you know, back in the day, uh, until a few years, about four or five years ago now, I guess it is, uh, we did have a lobbying function uh, in Washington D.C. and I would work with that uh, with that group uh, fairly often. Mm -hmm. Having said that, I was just in the at the Pentagon here about a month ago. Uh, talking to people about some of the changes they're making in their uh, education programs, 8140, mm -hmm. for example, CMMC 2.0. So there's, I won't call it lobbying, but I certainly talk to a lot of people yes. uh, who are used to working with lobbyists. So uh, again, I guess um, to sort of talk about the skill sets that are involved, like you said, you, you know, ability to write reports and so forth is, you know, was a big part of your old job, but evangelist definitely has sort of uh, you, you need to have elements of communication skills, especially spoken and also uh, some degree of, I would imagine, uh, sort of persuasion or argue, you know, That's argumentation skills, not arguing, you know, but yeah. Well, you know, it, it, yeah the idea of being suasive, as they call it, being persuasive and, mm -hmm. and creating appeals and knowing when to be quiet and knowing yeah. when to be succinct, uh, yes. believe it or not. Um, uh, sometimes I fail at that. I think the other day I handed over a report that was, you know, more of a stream of consciousness than it was mm. <laughs> an actual decent yep. report. You know, it's like, and it was a very subtle hint. It's like, gee, a couple of bullet points would have been nice. You know, it's like, yeah. So yeah. I know what you mean. It's, it's something that, um, as far as uh, skill sets and things like that, first of all, you got to be pretty technical in, in what your knowledge is. Uh, right. Technology evangelist is in there. And it's not just technical say about security or about data uh, and things like that. That's fine. Um, but technical in the understanding of having a, a strong enough foundation so that you can pivot to steal a word from you and for mm -hmm. the fantastic industry um, uh, to pivot from one element to another and to explain things uh, that aren't clear, that yeah. do have a kind of a, a muddled, uh, if not muddled, murky kind of past. And kind of clarify things in in a in a in such a way that the audience cares and understands. Okay, so now to contextualize that in the other direction, because you know now I, it, it sounded at first like okay, as long as you're you know a good speaker, good communicator, yeah. like someone will give you the talking points, and then you sort of like bring them to the masses. But it also sounds like you need to actually know all this stuff, which means you should have, like you said, you were a pen tester before. You have like the hard tech background. This is not just like. You're, you're not just like, uh, you know, a convention speaker, like you are someone who That's is a really good point. Yeah. That. So uh, can you talk about like how much of your position is client facing versus how much is like research and sort of keeping up with trends and sort of staying on I, top of the tech? It's a good question. I do work for the research department at CompTIA, work with uh, work for a gentleman named Tim Herbert, who is our uh, senior executive VP over uh over research, uh, fantastic, uh, incredible research department. It's really neat to watch them. Um, a lot customer facing. I'm more customer facing than in doing uh, uh, the research. Having said that, the reason they bring me in, I think, to all of these things is because we do a tremendous amount of research where we ping thousands of people and get tens of thousands of people and get and 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 get uh, tremendous insights about that but what's kind of fun is that in my work as uh, that i've done with databases uh the work that i've done with data analytics as a pen tester as a web developer things like that all of these different areas you could you could call it kind of four pillars uh seth robinson came up uh, who works for a research department with me uh came up with the idea of four pillars uh so you got data right mm -hmm. uh data search you can call it and then security 
and then infrastructure, things like cloud and, and yep. you know, servers and all that fun stuff. And then right. development, you know, how you create this stuff, so programming, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so you have to have strong uh, areas in there. If you want to speak with authority, you have to have done this stuff. If yes. you know what I'm trying to say. Got it. And so it's fun. Uh, it's been interesting over the decades that there are oftentimes where I'll, I'll hear people go, oh, I'm not technical, they'll say, right? And And sometimes they're not technical, which does make me wonder why what they're doing yeah. but other times when they say they're not technical they're being they're being humble uh, <laughs> they, right, they're right. A lot more, people are a lot more technical than they let on or even realize have you seen work bites the new security awareness training series from infosec our team produced this series with three e's in mind making security awareness training entertaining engaging and educational just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to learn more about this hilarious office comedy and hey let us know what you think about it